So the standard equation for a straight line is y equals mx plus c. Now m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. Now to do this question, because we're giving it just as two coordinates, all we need to do is find out what m is and then use m to find out what c is. So we're going to do m first, so the gradient, and the formula for the gradient is the change in y over change in x. Now basically how much did y change between the two coordinates divided by how much x changed between the two coordinates. Now it's really common to get these mixed up because you're told since you're very very young always put x before y and in this formula y comes before x. Now it's the only time that y, that I can remember, that y comes before x. So just remember this is the weird one. So the change in y, well our two y values are minus, uh, 104 and 83. So it's going to be 104 take away 83. And our two x values are 14 and 11. So it's going to be 14 times 11. Notice it's the second coordinate, take away the first one. That's how you get a change. So you're going to do 104 take away 83. And if you have a calculator, use it. If not, just try and do it in your head. And 14 take away 11, which is 3. Now I know 21 divided by 3 is going to be 7, so the gradient is 7. So we've kind of done all right. We can write down y equals 7x plus c we know that the gradient is 7 but we still need to find out what c is and to do that since we've plotted in the m what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in the values of x and y from one of the equation from one of the coordinates and you can pick either one either one should work so uh, for the coordinates I've picked which is the first one I've got 83 is our value of y and then we've got 7 times the value of x which is 11 plus c. And all we need to do now is just solve it to find out what c is. So first thing I'm going to do 83 equals and then that would be 77 plus c. And I'm just going to take away 77 from both sides. And again if you've got a calculator use it otherwise just do it in your head. So uh, what have we got? 83 take away 77 and hopefully yep, yeah, it's the answer is 6. And so that's the same as c equals 6. So now we know what c is so we can write y equals 7x plus 6, and we will write that in our answer as well. Now you can check that by putting in the values here into the equation. So I'm going to do 7 times 14 plus 6, and it comes out as 104, so we know it's the correct uh, value. Now the reason that this works is because m and c for our equation are constant, they're not going to change. y and x obviously do change as you go across the graph, so you just need to find it for one of the coordinates since m and c are always going to be the same for this equation um, and then you can just roll it out.